Okay. Everyone, we are back at the home church. Um, it's me, Slime the Frog, my mom, my beautiful mom at the table. Uh, Jesus Christ, number one, he's here. And my dad and spirit, who, who passed away in December, but he's with the Lord in heaven. He's here too. So um, if we could please say a prayer, and then we're going to get in the word, and I'm going to let the Holy Spirit use me to his glory. So God, um, we want to thank you for your blessings. Please forgive me of my sins. Forgive everyone else. And use me, God, to your glory. Let us have a good time in you. Use me, God. Speak through me. Whatever you want me to tell you people. And I thank you for everything. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 If I give a title, Mom, to the name of this service, I would call it Jesus Wants Us to Help Each Other. That, that's simple. Jesus wants us to help each other. Mm -hmm. and, and, and where I'm taking everyone right now. Give me one minute. Give me one minute. Oh, yeah, that's right. God, God is reminding me of my spirit. It's in, it's in uh, St. Luke. Amen. Chapter 10, verse, verse 25, the Good Samaritan. And, um, and, and the devil is a lie. You know, the, the enemy was trying to make me confused and forget things. But, but nope, I, I got the Lord, Mom. We got the Lord to help us, huh? Mm -hmm. So I feel good. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, so everyone, please turn in your Bibles um, in the book of St. Luke, chapter 10, verse 25. The Good Samaritan. And this is what my uh, sermon is based on. Jesus wants us to help each other. It says, And behold, this is from the King James Version, And behold, a certain lawyer stood up and tempted him, saying, Master, oh, wait a minute, give me one minute. Okay, let's go down to verse 30. Okay, okay, there we go. Excuse me, everyone, I'm sorry. Verse 30. And Jesus answering said, A certain man went down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell among thieves, which stripped him of his raiment, like his clothes, and wounded him, they hurt him, and departed, leaving him half dead. And by chance there came down a certain priest that way. And when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. And likewise, a Levite, when he was at the place, came and looked on him and passed by on the other side. But a certain Samaritan, as he journeyed, came where he was. And when he saw him, he had compassion on him and went to him and bound up his wounds, poured in oil and wine and set him on his own beast and brought him to an inn and took care of him. And on the morrow, when he departed, he took out two pence and gave them to the host and said unto him, take care of him and whatsoever thou spendest more when I come again I will repay thee which now of these three thinkest thou was neighbor unto him that fell among the thieves and he said he that showed mercy on him then said Jesus unto him go and do thou likewise we're gonna stop there okay. Praise God. So someone got basically beat up and robbed, right? On this road. And um and it's sad, you know, he was left for dead. But but thank the Lord for this nice guy that came up to him and helped out this this wounded person, you know, that was was that was out because um two other people went by, right, mom? And they, they just looked at the man and kept going. Mm -hmm. They didn't care to check on him to see how he was doing. You know, but um, so this reminds me 
of a, a testimony I want to share with y'all real quick that happened yesterday. And God, you get the glory, always. I was at my job in the city of Paris doing the sign tricks and dancing. And this Filipino man, this young man, saw me. Mm -hmm. and, um, and then he came up to me. But before that, he told me um, he didn't want it to seem as if I was um, in his way or something. Because, you know, I was on the sidewalk having a good time. Mm -hmm. But when he came up to me, Mom, I never met this man in my life. We started to talk. And we, it's like we instantly bond. And to find out, his name was Everett. He's a born-again Christian. He loves the Lord. Mm -hmm. A young guy. And um, he told me that he, um, what happened to him, Mom. He got um, he, he actually got beat up by some guys and robbed. Someone took his phone, his wallet. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lord, have mercy. And someone even pointed a gun at him. He was talking to me yesterday. But then we, we both um, agreed that it had to be the Lord that sent us to each other. Because I don't know you. You don't know me. Mm -hmm. And this man, Everett, Mom, he prayed with me outside um, well, with the sign wow. in front of everyone. All the cars going by saw us. We weren't putting on the show. We was just trying to, you know, concentrate on God, mm -hmm. taking Jesus. And, and to make a long story short, Mom, um, I ended up, um, the Holy Spirit touched my heart to treat this young man to lunch, you know, because I bet he was hungry. And what ended up happening was a nice guy, nice people, a guy, a woman, and some other folks that work at Wingstop, they wanted to treat me to lunch. And then it's like a domino effect. And then I wanted to treat my friend Everett. Mm -hmm. So um, he got a free meal there. Mm -hmm. We talked about the Lord, had a good time. And, you know, and he was telling me more, Mom, about him. He was wanting to go to Vegas and uh, everything and tell me about his girlfriend and his mom and, you know, some good things. Mm -hmm. And and to make a... Um, I'll try to go faster. The point I'm trying to make is you never know what you're going to go through in life. God might send you someone. And sometimes people might, you know, be stuck up or they keep to themselves, right? They're not really um, in tune with, with, with what God wants them to do. But I'm glad that the Holy Spirit wanted me to help this man, mom, because it, it was a blessing. Mm -hmm. The Lord gets the glory. And this man also helped me out. He um, he was there uh, to um, to give me good advice and stuff about certain things, um, you know, and uh, it just worked out, Mom. We helped each other. And then when I got off work, I went to Marina Valley, mm -hmm. and he, me and him, me and Everett went on the bus out there, and then he met some of my Filipino friends there at the Chinese restaurant, Red Dragon, mm -hmm. Miriam and JJ, mm -hmm. and their son, and then they gave us a meal for free. So I'm like, wow, praise God. Wow. But they didn't have to. Right. And and um and even though Everett mom got his phone uh, stolen and stuff, his wallet, whatever happened, I just thank God that he didn't die. And I thank God that the man who had a gun to his head didn't put the trigger. The Lord was still there. And um, you know, mom, anything you want to say? But I just had to give that testimony that I thank the Lord. I made a new friend, mm -hmm. a brother in Christ. He mm -hmm. called me this morning, let me know he was fine, that he met someone on the bus that offered him a job, and his girlfriend's going to pick him up, and a lot of good things that's going on. Well, praise God. Praise God. And the Lord used me to kind of be like a referee between them. Like, hey, even if y'all two have ups and downs, him and his girlfriend, you know, just keep showing each other love, and they're doing better. So, mm -hmm. anything you want to say, Mom, or are you okay? Mm -hmm. No, I was just said that we have opportunities to sometimes do things that certainly were not planned exactly but because of the fact that god uh is leading you in your own heart mm -hmm. as to what to do you uh go ahead and and do like, something that blesses someone else and you in turn become blessed more even amen because you are doing the things that were needed Yes. That time for that person. You're right. Right, Mom? Mm -hmm. It's amazing how God used me like a S Samaritan, huh? Yes. Like a helpful person. Yes. To help this man. Mm -hmm. And then he helped me with some things too. You know, for example, give me some good advice about, um, you know, if, say if I was interested, you know, in a pretty girl, you know, some good things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Plus he told me that he was a, a boxer and gave me some fighting ideas, Mom. Okay. So, so we helped each other. And God gets the glory. Jesus gets the glory. Well, praise God. We never know. We never know who, whose life we might touch. Mm 